Hi, how's it going everybody? Welcome to my channel. Very quick video for you guys today. Just wanted to review this USB Wi-Fi adapter I picked up a couple weeks ago from Amazon. Now I paid around $25 for this, I believe. Uh, somewhere around there. Not too expensive at all. My computer, for some reason, the Wi-Fi only works when it wants to. And I've tried uninstalling and reinstalling the adapter. Uh, I've tried a lot of things, but I just couldn't get it to work. And it was just becoming a headache. So I decided to pick up this Wi-Fi dongle. Um, so the last time I used the Wi-Fi dongle was actually a while ago, probably around six years ago. So I thought I'd give it a shot and the price was right. So this is what you get from Amazon. Uh, the box includes the Wi-Fi adapter. There's also a CD in there for the firmware. However, I don't even think I used the CD. Um, all you have to do is connect this to your computer and it automatically downloads the firmware. Uh, I used the CD afterwards just to see if it made any difference, but it really didn't. Um, so this works with five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz bands. And as it says on the box, you can get up to 867 megabits per second on the 5 gigahertz uh, network. Um, I am connected on a 5 gigahertz network. However, I haven't been reaching those speeds. I'm not going to blame it on this adapter though, because even on my other Wi-Fi devices, uh, I can't reach those. Uh, I can't reach these uh, advertised speeds of like 867 megabits per second or anything. It's usually around like 150, 100 to 150 megabits per second. Uh, it connects through USB 3.0. And like I said, it's very easy to connect. You just plug that into your computer. And we're just gonna go over to the computer now. And okay, so here are my test results. So I'm getting internet speeds of about 126.8 megabits per second download and 22 megabits per second upload. The upload speed is actually kind of low, um, a bit lower than what it usually is. It usually hovers around like between 30 and 40 megabits per second. So not sure what's going on there. Um, but the download speed, uh, this is the speed I usually get between like 100, 150. So as you can see, the speeds are pretty good. This is pretty much what I was getting uh, using the built-in Wi-Fi adapter on this computer beforehand. So overall, very happy with this device. I would definitely recommend it to somebody who uh, doesn't want to spend too much money on a new Wi-Fi card um, and just wants something fast that they can plug in and go. Uh, yeah, two thumbs up for this. Thanks for watching, guys. Give this video a like if this helped you out. Uh, come back to my channel if you like tech reviews like this one. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.